It's Friday, March 15th here in Seoul, and this is Korea's Daily News from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. Amid a growing sex video scandal that's been rocking Korea's entertainment scene, more K-pop stars other than Seungri and Jung Jun Young have come under fire for their past links to the incident. On Thursday, singer Yong Jun Young announced that he is leaving the boy band Highlight, formerly known as Beast, after admitting that he had watched one of the illegal sex videos that his friend Jung Jun Young shared in a mobile chat room. Now, when the sex video scandal first broke, Yong strongly denied news reports that he was one of the members in the group chat room with Jung Jun Young and Seungri. But the singer has now reversed his earlier claim and confessed on his Instagram that he did receive a video from Chung and did have inappropriate conversations. Yong went on to say that all of these behaviors were extremely unethical and I was stupid. And later in the day, another K-pop star involved in the scandal has announced his retirement, and that's Choi Jong-hoon of FT Island. In an official statement, his agency FNC Entertainment said Che is no longer part of FT Island and will permanently retire from the entertainment industry. The decision was made after Che allegedly shared his experience of getting some help from a high-ranking police official to cover up a drunk driving incident in 2016. The records were found in the group chat room with Seungri and Chong, and Che is scheduled for police questioning this week. And a local news report has also revealed that Lee Jong-hyun of rock band CN Blue was also allegedly involved in the scandal. SBS reported on Thursday that Lee was in both group and personal chats with Chong to not only receive illegal sex videos, but also to ask Chong to send over, quote, young and pretty women to play with. Meanwhile, two K-pop stars who are at the center of this snowballing scandal, Seungri and Jung Jun Young, have returned home Friday morning after more than 16 hours of marathon interrogations by police over allegations of their sexual misconduct. 오늘도 성실히 조사를 마치고 나왔습니다. 그리고 오늘 저는 정식으로 병무청에 입영 연기 신청을 할 생각입니다. 허락만 해주신다면. 입영 연기 입영 날짜를 연기하고 마지막까지 성실하게 조사받는 모습 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. 네, 먼저 아직까지도 정말 죄송하게 생각하고요. 조사 성실히 성실하게 진술했습니다. 그리고 회사되고 있는 황금폰에 대해서도 다. 있는 그대로 다 제출하고 네, 솔직하게 모든 거다 말씀드렸으니까 우리를 이렇게 해서 정말 죄송합니다. South Korean President Moon Jae-in is now in Cambodia for his third and final leg of his three-nation Southeast Asian tour. President Moon held a summit with Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen on Friday following a meeting with King Norodom Siamoni. During his summit with the Prime Minister, President Moon discussed ways to improve the relations between South Korea and Cambodia, as he is the first South Korean leader to visit the Southeast Asian country in 10 years. The two leaders also discussed ways to boost economic exchanges between their countries, including the areas of agriculture and infrastructure construction. President Moon will finish his three-day stay in Cambodia on Saturday. And those are your top headlines for today. For full-length articles, you can check out the official Yonam News website, linked down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.